Welcome to E3.1 Describe the Greenhouse Effect. Here we have a quick comic where Calvin is making his mom feel very, very good while sort of pointing out the disconnect between our behavior and how we know we should be living. Here's the greenhouse effect animated in FET. The yellow dots represent UV photons that come from the sun. Once a UV photon encounters the Earth, it is absorbed by Earth and then it can be re-emitted back out as a different type of energy called infrared or IR. Now you can see that infrared, some of it will, es will escape back out into space. However, any of the infrared that ends up going back down towards Earth, so you can see some of the red ones going back down, that is because some of them have encountered a greenhouse gas and then they have been re-emitted by that greenhouse gas in a new direction and when that happens you end up with more of these infrared photons um, re releasing energy in Earth's atmosphere where we live and as a result that can affect the temperature. If we look at what's really happening there the infrared radiation when it encounters a greenhouse gas like methane or CO2 those greenhouse gases can absorb those photons and that, is those, that energy increases the vibrations of the bonds. Now to compare that to if we're having UV light pass through them, you can see that there's actually no interaction. So this is why light from the sun can pass all the way to Earth's surface without having any interaction it's only when it's re-radiated back from Earth that it can be absorbed and then re-emitted back towards Earth again. So let's talk about a perfect IB answer for this. Greenhouse gases allow for the passage of incoming solar shortwave radiation or ultraviolet, but absorb the longer wavelength infrared radiation from the Earth. And that's what we just showed you through here. The photons from the sun can pass through, while from the Earth the IR will interact. Some of the absorbed radiation is re-radiated back to Earth, so anytime we see one of these going off in a different direction, that means re-radiated. A few important parts to making sure you don't lose any marks, you cannot say trapped, you can't say the energy is trapped, you can't say that the photons are reflected or bounce. Understand that UV comes from the sun, while IR is coming from the earth. And understand that UV has a shorter wavelength than infrared. If you've not taken a look at this previously, you'll want to take a close look at the electromagnetic spectrum. Here's ultraviolet. You can see that there's a shorter wavelength than the infrared, which has a longer wavelength. The infrared energy absorbed by the greenhouse gases increases the vibrations in the bonds before the energy is re-radiated or re-emitted. That's a very key point there.